game. You can change it. You can go into new project, open a project, save project, all that stuff just by clicking this. You can hide this panel by hitting that arrow up and down. Basically. Or not hide it, but you can minimize it. Um, here are your groups. These are all the groups that you have in machine. You have up to eight groups you can use. I never use all eight. I Maybe I should. I never have an opportunity to, but I do um, use maybe up to four at the most. Um, so this is where you can select your groups, and as you can see, everything right here changes to um, accommodate for the change up here. So see, Snap Nomad is in group A, and there's nothing in group B. So yes. Um, here are your scenes, and this is your scene timeline. This is where you find out where you're currently playing. So let's say I had something playing in scene 5. I'd be able to tell that scene 5 because it shows me right here. You can also change the name. Let's say this is the bridge. You could change the name of it just like that. You could go over here, change this to hook, change this to first verse. Just like that. Very easy. You can just, instead of saying scene 2, scene 3, you can go, let me go to the first verse, let me go to the bridge, let me go to the hook, whatever you want to do. Um, basically, this instance, this little thing right here, all of this is the scene. But that, this pattern, which you'll see right here, this is the pattern that is it's in here, is a clip. And all these clips are what makes up a scene. These clips right here make up a scene. So this is a clip, this is a clip, this is a clip, and this is a clip. Just, to, just so you have the understanding so when we're doing the tutorials. That's what I mean by the clip or pattern but I, I usually call it clip um, and this this enables you to you know filter through scenes because you could have a lot of scenes you can have up to 64 scenes can you make more you probably can make more I, don't, I guess not maybe you can just have 64 scenes it makes sense to only have 64 um this yeah you can click on this to magnify if you click on this magnification button you zoom up it magnifies your scene or you can you know you can minimize it and yeah you know what I'm talking about <laughs> um, so you can fit more scenes on this one panel so we'll minimize this and we'll move on to the control panel the control panel is very uh, hard to explain I guess well let me just try to explain it you have three tabs here you have a master tab a group tab and a sound tab Excuse me. In each one of these three tabs, you have four more tabs. These are for modules. These modules can be, let me show you. These modules can be samplers. It can be an input, like a guitar or something, or a MIDI out, which I never use MIDI out. So you'll have to learn about that on your own. Um, you can import plugins. You can import effects, anything. Um, each of these modules can be something different. So you can have an effect here, you can have another effect here, you can have a third effect here, and this could be your sampler. This can be your Snap Nomad sound. Um, here's your quick browse. If you click on this, it opens your browser. It just takes you to browser, and you can find a new sound. Um, right here are your properties. You can click on each one of these, and it'll give you different um, parameters to, to, to change properties in your sound. Um, we'll, we'll go into depth on these later um, while we're making an actual beat um, so yeah you can change the parameters of each um, module um, depending on what you have let's say I have a flanger let me open a flanger right here here's my flanger you can change the properties of it change the modulation change the frequency everything so and you can do that for each one of these so for instance this flanger is now on this snap nomad just the Snap Nomad. If I go to Sound 2, there's going to be no flanger on it. There's going to be no modules, actually. Let's say I go to Group. This group, if I put Modulate, these, these modules affect all these sounds that are in this group. If I click Sound, it just affects that sound that I'm on. Master affects all the groups. You see what I'm saying? So sounds affect just that sound. Groups affect all the sounds, and the master affects everything. All the groups, all the sounds. If you have any questions, <laughs> comments, uh, messages. Um, so let's hide that. Right. Now we're going to go to the pattern editor. Um, so here's where your patterns are created. So for instance, right here is your group A. Um, you know you're in group A, your group A patterns. You can open different patterns. You can save this pattern. You can um, save it with the samples. 
on it. Um, you can go to your pattern bank, all that good stuff. Um, so let's start with this. This is your pattern tab. Um, this is your first pattern, second pattern, third pattern, fourth pattern. You can have as many patterns as your heart desires as long as it's not more than 16. Um, and basically a pattern is what is played um, in uh, that instance, I guess. Um, basically you can have a drum pattern in that and then you can add that to your scene, add that to other patterns and that's what makes your actual song. Um, We'll go into depth, and it's really hard to speak about it, but I can show you. Um, so you can have different sounds in the same pattern, or in the same clip, um, and uh, that creates your actual groove. That creates the actual um, pattern. Sorry, uh, I'm saying that word over and over again. So if I open this again, you can see that right here. If I have pattern one, it creates pattern one right here. Let me let me go over here so I can make this a little bit simpler. So we're in first verse. Um, the pattern for first verse, I want to be pattern one, right? So I, I create my pattern right here, you know, whatever. Then I go to hook, and I want that to be pattern two. I want something different to happen. I want to use the same sounds, but I want to make something different happen. That's what I would do in pattern two. And we will go into this um, in, in depth in a later tutorial. So that's what the patterns are. Um, right here we have our modulation window, our automation lane. Um, as they call it. Uh, you can change what kind of uh, automation you want here. Um, we'll go into depth on that later. Um, yeah, so back to the tutorial. We have right, we're, right now we're in our pad mode. We can change from pad mode to keyboard mode and what this does is it gives us a keyboard and you can play sounds and you can put your pattern down in terms of notes rather than just um, rather than just uh, uh, how do you say it? Just a, a, uh, a note right here, but you can put them in different keys and different notes. Sorry. Um, right here's your sampler window. This is where you can change your sample. You can, uh, you can customize your sample. You can edit your sample right here. You can slice it, all that good stuff. We'll, we'll go into depth with this later. And let's go back to pad mode. This opens and closes your automation lane. Um, that's basically what it does, and we'll go into that later again. And this button does the same thing that it does up there. You can zoom into your patterns, you can zoom out, all that. You can change the steps that you have in your patterns, like you can make it um, 128th step, and as you can see, now you'll have a beat. You can select to have a beat every 128th. Uh oh, yeah, of your bar. Oopsies. And um, basically, that's your that's your machine software. Um, I'm sorry I got kind of crazy at the end. I started getting somewhat of a headache. But um, yeah, uh, that's your machine software. We're going to go more into depth in creating beats. I'm going to show you how to make a beat later on um, in the next tutorial. So thank you guys for sticking around. Um, I'm going to go get rid of this headache. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, definitely comment, rate, subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you on the next tutorial. Thank you.